what is your wildest overseas story that you've had throughout your entire now decade long career? I would say, honestly, hmm, this was this was actually actually it was me and uh Jordan Watson. This was definitely up there. We uh we were playing and this was when we were on a team in Le Mans and we were playing um uh BCL which is the the champion basketball champions league um and we had a game in in Sassari uh Italy and we had to fly from Paris to Rome and then catch a connecting flight from Rome to because Sassari is like an island so we had to basically catch the the flight to go to the island and me and Jordan was like basically when all kind of we had a layover at, in Rome I can't remember how long it was but it couldn't have been very long maybe like an hour or so maybe an hour and a half and we're sitting there charging our phones you know just talking shit and just hanging out and then next thing you know we getting calls from like the players on the team basically asking us like where we were at and you know, we kind of like, we just like hanging out, you know, by one of the gates, charging our phones. And pretty much they, it was like one of those flights where like the, there's like a bus or whatever. And it takes you out to the plane where like, you don't necessarily just walk on the plane from the, like from the terminal. And we actually ended up missing our flight to go to Sassari with the team. And we, you know, we're running to the, to the, to the terminal and pretty much was like, Hey, you know what I'm saying? Like watching the bus pretty much drive on the runway. And we're like, yo, you know, we need to be on that bus. You know, like we, we got, we on this flight and they're like, you know, there's nothing we can do. We're asking them if we could like basically run and catch the bus, you know what I mean? Like just run out on the runway and stuff like that. They just like, you know, you'll pretty much get arrested if you know, you do that. And we uh ended up missing the flight uh our bags and stuff they like our teammates sent us pictures like from the airplane window of them not loading our bags up on the plane just leaving them kind of just on the ground on the runway because we wasn't on the plane and then we pretty much had to figure out how to get to sassery that night because we had practice uh and then the game the next day missed the practice the team practice that night and then for somehow I guess we I guess we had uh the media with us that the um the story pretty much the story story yeah. got out and we had like fans and stuff uh hitting us up basically saying like you know I guess they were telling their own I don't know if the players was saying that why we missed the flight or whatever but asking us saying like how we decided to go like I had it like fans and stuff hitting me up asking me did I go like to a different country because like was I not playing in a game was like was we hanging out with girls in the in the terminal and we just missed the flight and things like that so it was just one of those where like like kind of how how does this happen and we really didn't have no explanation for it but we end up long story short we end up getting there that later on that night and basically getting an earful from like the GM or the team and all that stuff. It was just one of those where we had to like apologize to the team and all that stuff. But it was, uh, as far as like, I mean, that was kind of wild. Like I was, I've never missed a flight before in my life for me. So it was just like one of those where you just like, yo, you know, how do we explain this? And we really wasn't like, like doing nothing, you know? If only it was as interesting as the fans have made it out to be. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, and it was just like, what, like, where is this even coming from? You know, but I, I guess it was pretty much the media team that we had with us. I don't know if they, like I said, asked some players on the team or things of that nature. Hello. And thanks for watching. Be sure to give the video a like, and you can watch more videos over here. Uh, you can also click subscribe over here. So you're notified when we have new content here on expat hoops.